Hi friends, my name is Baji. Welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we have learned about some of the Windows native monitoring tools like Task Manager, Perfman, also called as Performance Monitor. In today's video, we will try to understand the process of integrating Perfman with Jmeter. Okay, so this way we can collect all the metrics including system resources in one place. So first, let's open the Jmeter's plugin official website. So open your browser and then go to jmeterplugins.org and then look for Perfman plugin. So from the search results, click the Perfman server performance monitoring link, which will open a page where we can learn more about this particular plugin. Okay, in the beginning, they have given the introduction about this plugin along with a screenshot and then if we scroll a little bit down we can see what are all the different metrics that they're trying to collect using this plugin okay there is a link given here if you click it it will show all the list of the metrics like cpu memory disk okay and then they have also explained how this plugin works by default jmeter cannot collect all the system metrics by itself so to overcome this situation what they did is they have developed an agent which they're calling as Perfman server agent and that agent needs to be installed on all the target servers here the target server means it can be a web server application server or a database server okay once we install the server agent on the target machine then the agent will try to collect all the system resource metrics from that server and then it will send to jmeter okay so that way we can see those metric information in the jmeter user interface and if we scroll a little bit down they have talked about the installation process so if we click this link we will get more details about this perfman server agent so here they have given the download link as well as the installation procedure basically what they're saying is we don't need any root or admin privileges to install this agent what we need to do is we just need to download this server agent zip package from this repo and then unzip onto the target server after that if we are using a unix platform then we need to run the start agent.sh script or if we are using windows then we need to run the start agent.bat scripts they have also given a prerequisite about jre1.5 because this particular tool is being developed in java since jre is a prerequisite for jmeter we already fulfill this requirement so we don't need to worry about this prerequisite again okay and then they have also given some other information about this agent so what they're saying is by default this agent will use port 4444 okay so if you are going to use this agent in a real performance testing environment then we need to make sure that this agent is installed on all the target servers and also proper file values are in place because by default in the real environments all the ports won't be available for any applications okay so we need to request network team to open those ports for communication purpose okay in case if that particular port is being used by any other application then we have an option to change to a different port as well using this command okay and then they have also given some other commands to understand more about this particular agent so the first step is we will download this server agent and then we'll try to install it so since i'm going to use this laptop as my target server as well as the jmeter mission so i will try to download this server agent in this mission and then install it according to their instructions okay so to download this zip package we just need to click the server agent zip package link which will download that package to the download folders so let's go to download folders and then unzip this package so right click and then select extract all and then click extract so if you go to the server agent 2.2.3 folder we can see different files okay so the important files are start agent if you are using windows then we need to run this start agent batch file if you are using a linux then we need to run this start agent shell script since it is a windows machine i will start the agent using this start agent batch script okay so once we double click then we can see these three messages basically what it is saying is it has been binded to port 4444 since in this laptop i'm not using 4444 for any other application so it has used that port for this agent communication purposes okay so this is the first step we need to download the the zip package extract and then start the agent we can also test the communication using some of the utility command like telnet so you can open the another command prompt and then type telnet localhost because this agent has been installed in this local machine that is why i'm using localhost and then port 4444 so this way we can directly talk to that server agent so using this command we can communicate information to that server agent okay by default this telnet utility is not installed in any windows system if you want to install this the process is very simple so in the search type windows features and then select the turn windows feature on or off and look for telnet client select that and then click ok so it will try to install the telnet utility on this system okay so once you install the telnet then you can read on the same command so now if you see here on the server agent log information it is telling that it has accepted a new tcp connection because 
we try to connect to that server agent machine okay now you can type test and we got the response from the agent so the communication is working perfectly fine so this is the way you can test it out from the worker node to make sure that it can communicate with the server agent okay so you can type exit to exit out from this communication once we complete the server agent setup the next step is plugin installation okay so let's open the jmeter as you know jmeter plugins can be installed in two ways right one with the help of plugins manager and the another way is again we need to go to the jmeter plugin manager official website and then download that plugin and then extract it to the jmeter lib folder installing plugin using the plugin manager is a very easiest process so we will go we will use that process to install this plugin let's open jmeter and then go to plugin manager from options plugin manager or you can also click this icon okay and then go to available plugin and then type pop one since i have already installed this plugin it is not showing here but if i go back to install plugins i could see that puffman server performance monitoring plugin so you can select it and then click apply changes and restart the jmeter so that will install the plugin okay after installation what you can do is you can open any of your jmeter script that you have used so i'm going to open my jmeter script of jpet store demo here i have deployed jpet store as a docker container so i will be using that to test this jmeter performance plugin okay you can use any application or any script it does not really matter since i'm installing the server agent in this laptop i want application also to be deployed on this laptop so that i can assume that this laptop is a my application server or web server whatever it is so after installing the plugins the performance plugin will be available in listeners group so we need to select the thread group right click add and then go to listener and then select the j performance metrics collector okay after adding the listener we need to tell this plugin what are all the different metrics that we want to collect okay so you can click add row so that will add the host ip port and the metrics to collect since this agent is installed in this machine we can leave it as local host and then port 4444 if you are installing this on a remote machine then you need to specify the remote machine host name or ip and the appropriate port okay if you are not changing anything then you can mention 4444 as the port and then we need to specify what are all the different metrics that jmeter need to collect if we say cpu then it will try to collect the processor metrics okay so if you click that cpu it will show a list of other metrics as well so let's add another row and this time we will say memory so we will tell jmeter to collect the cpu and memory metrics of the system while the test is running okay so once you configure all these things then what we need to do is we need to start the test so let's start with one user to understand how it works okay so make the number of threads as 1 and the ramp up period is 1 and then select the loop count as infinite and then clear the results and then let's quickly check the server agent terminal to make sure it is listening to the instructions okay i could see some exceptions in the log some of them are related to influx db which is fine because i'm not using influx db in this test so what we will do is we will stop the test and then we will disable the backend listener we don't want to send metrics to influx db which is not there anymore however if you notice we don't see that server agent terminal anymore right it's already closed automatically so let's go back to the server agent here we can see one additional file which looks like a dump it seems that the moment we start the jmeter this server agent has been crashed and then it has given the details why it has been crashed okay looks like there is some issue with the agent dll that is why the moment we start the jmeter test the agent has crashed and then reported the reason why it has been crashed this is a known issue with the new version because this was developed very long time ago and there are so many changes happened after this so that is why this particular dll file is not compatible so what we need to do is we need to download the latest file so let's download the latest dll by default it will try to block because this is the unverified downloaded so let's click that and then say download verified file so that will download the required dll file what we need to do is we need to copy this file to the server agent lib folder so select the replace the file in the destination now again what we need to do is we need to start the agent and then go to jmeter clear the results and then restart the test so here we can see the cpu and memory graphs so if we are open in the task manager we can also compare whether the metrics that we are getting is accurate so here you can see cpu is 14% memory is around 63% so here also we can see the same thing right the memory is red color 
and the blue one is the CPU. So this way we can collect the system resource metric of the server along with our other application metrics like the transactions per second, response time over time. So you don't need to log into that server and then create a data collector set and then start the data collector set before starting the test. This plugin will take care of that everything. Only thing is we need to make sure that the agent has been installed on the target server and then that agent is up and running. Okay. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for staying till the end and supporting me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions with this process, please feel free to mention it in the comment section. All the video notes have been uploaded in GitHub and you can find the link in the description. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and also like and share this video so that others will also get benefited. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep learning.